everyone, this is Juan Sarmiento and today I am going to do something different. Today I want to discuss a new article published in the New England Journal of Medicine. The New England Journal of Medicine is one of the most prestigious publications in the medical field, not only in the United States, but in North America and indeed in the entire world. Today it came to my attention that they have published a review article, a complete review of the literature, or the most recent literature on a subject matter, and in this case they talked about intermittent fasting, because it's a subject of my interest and, the, and a subject of interest for this channel and for the website uh, Feast Fast for Life, I'd like to tell you about it. If you are in the medical field or if you are interested in science and have access to a medical library to go and look this up, it was published in the New England Journal of Medicine. You can take the reference here and go to the internet and look it up. All you need to do is Google it and the information will come so that you can download the entire article or at least the abstract. In the meantime, I wanted to very quickly go through the highlights and I intend to go through the review paper and use it to create more videos that I had already prepared, some of them, reviewing the literature, but this is very powerful stuff because it seems like the medical community has finally taken on this very important subjects to, to our health and well-being and make it their own. Traditionally, what we have seen is nutritionists and the nutritional field rather than the medical field. So the New England Journal of Medicine, by publishing this, is giving legitimacy to many of the things that I have been telling you from a physiology point of view, from my own experience that I have over the years put into practice this in my life. And only recently I have actually done the research in the literature and find that all this information about intermittent fasting and OMAD in particular. So in the months to come, I would like to tell you why I think that OMAD is the best of all the intermittent fasting approaches for people uh, like you and me. So here they talk about uh, hundreds of animal studies and scores of clinical studies of controlled intermittent fasting regimens have been conducted in which the metabolic switching from liver-derived glucose to adipose cell-derived ketones occur daily or several days each week. I told you already about this, the switching in my previous videos. The switch means that you are going from a carbohydrate-based metabolism for generation of energy and usage of energy to one that uses more your adipose tissue, meaning your body fat. And so they are recognizing this. And then this is what we talk about ketone bodies as opposed to glucose flowing in the blood. We have ketone bodies. We become keto adapted. And some people do the ketogenic diet as a substitute. You become keto adapted when you do intermittent fasting in the long term. Intermittent fasting elicits evolutionarily conserved adaptive cellular responses that are integrated between and within organs in a manner that improves glucose regulation, increases stress resistance, and suppresses inflammation. They also talk about inflammation, which it is involved in protecting us against disease, but also too much inflammation. For example, autoimmune diseases uh, have too much response to, to certain antigens. So, this is all good, this is all fantastic that they are looking into this and all the, the multiple advantages of intermittent fasting that I already told you about, we are going to cover some of this more intensely in the videos to come. So please be sure to subscribe to this channel and click on that little bell so you become aware of all the videos that are coming up in this channel. 
Then here goes in, and says how most people consume three meals a day plus snacks. So intermittent fasting does not occur. Uh, this is what I've been telling you. The, the healthier way for us to live is eating less. Not less food, but less times in a day. And that's the importance of that is being recognized now by the medical community. Preclinical studies, that means animal studies, consistently show robust disease-modifying efficacy of intermittent fasting in animal models on a wide range of chronic disorders, including obesity, diabetes, cardiovascular disease, cancers, and neurodegenerative brain diseases. The periodic flipping of the metabolic switch not only provides that the ketones that are necessary to fuel cells during fasting periods, but also elicits highly orchestrated systemic and cellular responses that carry over into the fed state to bolster mental and physical performance as well as disease resistance. I already told you that since I started intermittent fasting, I have experienced some amazing abilities. I have put my mind to do things like developing websites and how to create uh, videos is something that I, I had never done before. And on top of that, I learned three languages. I already knew Portuguese, Spanish, and English, of course, but I set my mind in a very short time, I learned French, Italian, and German. So you see, the mind is benefiting from those ketone bodies that come from fasting. These ketones are used by the brain in ways that are more favorable than you could ever imagine. So please take this seriously. This paper is a review of animals and human studies that have shown how intermittent fasting affects general health indicators and slow and reverses aging and the disease process. Please take a note of how I have changed over the years. First, I was obese and not very energetic, and suddenly, with intermittent fasting, I not only did I lose weight, but I became more physically fit. 20 years older, I feel 20 years younger than when I was in my early 50s. Intermittent fasting is the way of the future, and soon enough, we all be eating this way, hopefully, and our health and our longevity will be much better off. Thank you for joining me in this video, and may I ask you to please subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking on the appropriate button below. Once you have done so, also click on the bell so you are notified of all future videos coming up on this channel. In addition, if you enjoyed the video and find it useful, please give it a thumbs up. Help me spread the good news about OMAD by sharing this video with your family and friends. Thank you. This is Juan Sarmiento reminding you that life is looking up.